This is the story of the Lord Sanctuary Academy. Located within the slum area of Bondeni, Nakuru, Kenya, East Africa. It was established in the year 2008 by Apostle Jenga Thu. My name is uh, Apostle Patrick Thu. I am the uh, founder of the Lost Sanctuary Ministry and also the director of the Lost Sanctuary Academy. The vision for the school was born in 1989 when I was traveling to Pakistan for a mission. And I saw many of our young people going to Saudi Arabia for Islamization. So I felt that was speaking to me to start a school, a Christian school. Then in two, uh, year 2008, I started the school. Our mission and vision is to mentor responsible Christian citizens. And uh, we thank God for helping us this far. We run this school in my wife Nancy. My name is Nancy Jenka and by profession I am a registered nurse. I also have a diploma in management, so I help in the daily management of the Lord's Sanctuary Academy. I've seen uh, the Lord move us from nothing to where we are today and you're still growing. Praying and believing God to relocate from here and have a bigger school and also a trade school. The current population of the school is about 135 pupils, 13 teachers and the support staff. They are very happy kids. Our school is located on a half of an acre and it houses the school and the church. And so we don't have a playground where they can exercise their physical education. The families within Bondeni area lives below a dollar and can't afford education. To sustain the child in school, the management has subsidized half school fees. And for them that can't afford to pay the subsidized fee, Apostudu, the director, and his family takes up the responsibility. In order to raise an all-round child, the feeding program is inevitable. So we have a feeding program where we give them porridge at 10 o'clock and we also give them a hot and balanced diet at lunch time. Health is also a big challenge to most of these children in the Lord Sanctuary Academy. Many a times, Mrs. Thuo, who is a registered nurse, gives medical care for the very needy ones. For example, this is Manila, who is physically challenged, and this is Salim, who cannot speak. These two are a brother and sister. believing God to give us partners who will be able to, support, to stand with us to help these kids uh, with the fruits, school supplies. We believe that you will continue praying for us and also as the Lord speaks to you, you can partner with us to help these kids become responsible Christian citizens. God bless you.